All right, we're about to feed the monster fish tank. A lot of people wanted to see a little bit more of the tank. They want to see the fish eating. I'm telling you, these fish eat so much food that I can't almost believe it. They're better than bodybuilders. All right, let's take a look. We got the big Paco. We got the arowana who's itching. We got the Oscars. I'm gonna put some of these jumbo. I guess you could say pellets, or whatever they are, for the sticks, food sticks. They're called carnivorous food sticks. These are carnivorous. Right. You gotta be careful, they splash. Here we go. You gotta get out of the way, because they, they go crazy. All right, so they're gonna, that's, that's wave number one, I call it. And the Paku is what I call the vacuum cleaner of the tank. He will get everything that doesn't, uh, that no one else gets, essentially. He'll just keep going and going and going. Now, wave number two is, is the sinking smaller pellets. This is for the fish that are toward the bottom, like the sharks. See the white sharks in there, the white areas and sharks? All right, watch that. Paco will steal some of those, but that'll, these will drop now, and the fish toward the bottom will get a chance to eat. See the sharks? There's some catfish in there. The red spotted gold severums are going down there to eat. And wave number three will be the krill, which is the dried shrimp. Get that out in a few seconds here. The arowan is waiting for the krill. He loves the krill. This is like shrimp. It smells like shrimp. Uh, as we know, krill oil is very loaded with omega-3 fats. Really good for the fish. And also, the carotenoids in this krill will make the fish pinkish looking. If you notice, the albinos in here all have like a pinkish hue to That's from the krill. Here we go. Watch the arowana. He's going to come from the other side of the tank. Here he comes. It's, oof. Almost ate the paku. But that paku will eat everything that, that's not nailed down. So we don't have to worry about overfeeding this tank because he'll always eat everything in here. There's never a, a morsel of food left in this thing. He'll eat every little crumb that falls. It might take him a while, but he will not stop until he's done. The sharks also like to eat all the little crumbs. And if you look toward the bottom, you see the clown loaches down there. They're eating their fair share of all the, the fallen stuff. And there is a shovel-nosed cat. I don't know where he is, but he is... Uh... There he is. He's right by the, red, the, the shark that's pushing him back. I think he's scared. When I feed the tank, there are so many crazy feeders in here that the, sh the shovel-nosed cat has not felt comfortable yet on his own. The good thing is everyone kind of gets along in this tank. I don't really catch anyone attacking each other. Uh, they've all kind of grown up together. They all were tiny fish. And uh, so in that sense, it's good. Now, if you look down there, you can see the Oscars. They eat so much, they throw up. And then the Paku goes down there and eats up all the throw up <laughs> they, they can't hold down. Because they're overeaters. They're gluttons, basically. Kind of like bodybuilders. Um, and now all the little bottom guys are on the bottom eating up all the stuff that's falling. So that is the feeding of the monster fish tank. And uh, as we do updates on this, these fish will continue to grow and grow.